you doing here? I told you not to interrupt me during guitar and beard grooming time. You want me to review some coffee? Couldn't that have waited a little while? I mean, listen to the song I'm working on. Do you like cold brewed coffee, but you're too lazy to make it? You're concerned about whether or not your coffee is organic or not, and you have plenty of cash. Well, do I have the product for you? So I'm walking through the grocery store, minding my own business, just looking for some cold brewed coffee, preferably on sale. I check the Starbucks, not on sale. I check the other brands, not on sale. And then I see a sale tag for a BOGO. Doggone it, BOGOs are hard to resist. And what was the BOGO for? This brand, which I have never purchased before because at my local grocer, it cost $9.99. Chameleon Organic Cold Brew Concentrate. Now I'm gonna learn about this right along with you. This is 32 ounces but it makes up to 48 ounces, which if I do the math correctly, that means we can add four gallons, 16 ounces of water to this. Now immediately I'm thinking, how am I gonna do that? How am I gonna add 16 ounces to this? Now I've really gotta do some math because I've gotta figure out how many ounces to pour into a cup and then how many ounces of water I can add to each cup it's so like divide it by eight ounces, carry the two, pi is 3.14, or maybe you just drink it strong. <laughs> anyway, this is the normal black coffee, and this is the one I really wanted, of course, the espresso coffee. The ingredients on both are the same, organic, cold brewed coffee. So if you're concerned about organics, and I've just learned that maybe I should be. A friend of mine told me that coffee is one of the dirtiest crops that there is, and that when he's at home, he only drinks organic coffee. That goes on top of my friend Eric, who commented on here that he drinks organic coffee. So I've got two friends who only drink organic coffee, and now starting to feel like an idiot. This one, same thing, 32 ounces, but it makes 48. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do about that. I'm gonna make it here in my trusty measuring glass. I'm gonna start with the regular one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix it slightly less powerful than the recommended. I made a little mess there. I'm gonna go six ounces and then top it off with two ounces of cold water. And give that a little stir. And then I'm just gonna pour this into this plain cup so that I can use the measuring cup for the next flavor. All right, so the Plain coffee is in the plain cup. The espresso flavor will be in the measuring cup. I'm gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's a big old bottle for pouring. It's glass too, it's a big glass bottle. I'm gonna give it a little tilt here. I'm trying to get it right on that six inch, I mean six ounce. Close enough, two ounces of water here. Give us a little stir. And there we go. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna do the regular coffee first. Just regular black coffee. There's my plain cup. I'm gonna try it black first. That is smooth. 
Don't want to drink too much because I'm going to put some cream in it and taste it. But this isn't a comparison video or a competition. It's just a taste test. Man, that is, that is so smooth. <laughs> that is so smooth. Um, with, with no sugar and no cream, I could just turn this up and drink it. I'm not kidding. It's, man, it's smooth. So, and it's not weak. I wouldn't say it's strong, but it's not weak at all. Good coffee flavor, but just smooth. I mean, if, if you like smooth, my goodness, that is, that is smooth. Going over to the espresso coffee now, just tasting the other one made me excited about this because if this is stronger, if this is stronger than that and just as smooth, Hmm, I gotta say, there is a fruitiness to this that I wasn't expecting, and not necessarily a strength that the espresso coffee has uh, with this brand. Get a little back to back here. It, you know, it's a positive review either way, so I don't really care about palate cleansing and things like that. Hmm. Yes, the espresso has a fruitiness to it, in my opinion, that uh, that is absolutely fine. Again, this is so smooth. It's really, it's something special. And you pay for it, too. Like I said, I got these as a buy one, get one free, so they cost five bucks a piece. But to normally pay $10 for 32 ounces, even if you can mix it and go up, I'm gonna have a little straight from the bottle. No one else will be drinking out of this except my wife, so it's okay, I promise. Same, but stronger. I haven't had a lot of coffee that has that, what I would call a fruity note, but this does, and I prefer the plain myself. Get a little pull off of this one without being watered down at all. Huh. I actually prefer it mixed. What what I did was you can go a, a little more. It worked out to being kind of an odd mix, but what I did was six ounces of this and two ounces of cold water. And I liked that. Plain, it was a little bit, the strength didn't work well for me, even though I usually like strong coffee. This is just really good. This is really good. It's a real straightforward flavor. It has a strong, rich coffee taste, but so smooth. It's just, it just, I can't believe it. Now I'm going to hit it with some creamer. Start with a tablespoon and see how it looks. That looks good. That's on the uh, that's on the regular one. Tablespoon in the espresso blend. I've drank nearly two ounces of both of these, so sometimes I would put two tablespoons in my coffee. I think one has it light colored enough for my preferences. Let's see how this tastes. This is the Chameleon Cold Brewed Black Coffee right here. That is, it is good. It is just good. The creamer almost brings out the flavor of the coffee a little more. It was almost smoother without creamer. 
but it's not in a bad way. Man, that is just really good. That is just really good coffee. Now I'm gonna go for the Chameleon Espresso Roast with creamer. Let's see how this one goes. The fruitiness is milder with cream. This is a little unexpected for me. Like I said, the regular black coffee, it's almost like the creamer brought out the flavor of the coffee, and that was unexpected to me. With this one, the creamer kind of toned down the flavor a little bit, and that little fruity note that I didn't like so much, and this is more mild now. I would buy either one of these if they were on sale. If I was paying full price, I personally would get this. This really is something special. I like both of these guys. This is good stuff. I like this one better. Now I'm gonna give one of these to my wife so that I won't drink two giant cups of iced coffee back to back and turn into a crazy person.